So I think the future of the corporate PPA market really depends on the off-takers coming into the market and the different types of demand that we require and that we see out in the market. You see um, industrial players, uh, particularly in the Nordics, very um, high energy users uh, that require um, offtake. You see some of the large US corporates, uh, many corporates that um, are party to RE100, they require uh, to purchase green energy. And then I think what you'll also see coming forward are the energy suppliers and traders now who are starting to look at uh, entering into corporate PPAs and then trading to their consumers. So DLA, we acted for EFET, the European Federation of Energy Traders, and produced a standard form corporate PPA, uh, which is ideally suited for the energy suppliers market. The, the off-takers that are currently dominating the market depends on the regions. Um, so maybe if we pick the Nordics first of all, which has been probably one of our most buoyant markets, uh, you have um, the industrial players who, the likes of um, Norst Hydro, Alcoa and other industrial players who often um, uh, don't buy the geos and need to contract long term purely for security of electricity and pricing regions. You also then have the US corporates, particularly the IT um, corporates coming over and they're now in the Nordic market as well. A good example of this is a deal that we closed yesterday with Prime Capital and Decker Bank and that was a 254 offtake wind wind project uh, 150 approximate was contracted by Google with the rest contracted by Holman um, and then also the energy suppliers you see them as I mentioned previously So the Nordics is really interesting because, and it has been for a number of years, because they take a more innovative approach to the risks, where the risks best lie. Um, so you often see generators taking risks there that they wouldn't take elsewhere, um, and then managing, outsourcing some of those risks and managing it. You also see more innovative pricing structures. So the UK market has been um, over the uh, over the last sort of five ten years has been uh, you know quite a stable slow market uh, with pri fixed price subject to indexation. Whereas in the Nordics you have much more innovative structures where you can uh, look at um, different pricing across the whole outtake. So the Nordics will continue to be really busy. Um, Spain has had a bit of a boom over the last year. I think you'll see more in Italy going forward. Uh, Latin America for us is really strong at the moment, particularly Brazil. Uh, we're still very active in Australia, and I think we'll continue to well we'll continue to see interest in Southeast Asia. So it'd be interesting to see how that goes this time next year.